Hello everyone, this is Dr. Strike Boy showing you guys another video of Dragon Ball Super. So please, if you don't want to get spoiled, it will contain heavily, heavily, heavily spoilers. So thank you guys for tuning into this channel. This is Dr. Striker Boy. Alright, now that you guys are tuning into my channel, sadly this is the last episode of Dragon Ball Super. I will not stop making videos of Dragon Ball Z or any of the franchise. Especially Dragon Ball Fighters, uh, Xenoverse 2, the movie, the new series that's probably going to come out next year. Trust me, I'm not going to stop all that. Just because it's the last episode, I will not stop. But this was an extraordinary episode. Wow, it was sad. It was a good series. I'm not even going to lie. It was actually a really good series. And it was unexpected. I was not expecting 17 to win i thought it was freeze i was close though i was close but 17 out of all people oh geez that got me unexpected i'm not gonna lie i did not expect 17 to win i didn't even expect him to even survive through that massive blast that he did that could have dispelled that could have self-destruct android 17 but it didn't because he kind of controlled it kind of like how vegeta did when he did it with topo but overall, this episode, it all started out with Golden Freeza and Android 17 fighting with Jiren. Jiren is not as his, he's not at his best yet because Goku did a lot of damage and Jiren lost a lot of stamina. So this fight was a very interesting fight. Something that you would never even expect to even happen. And yes, this does have a connection to the movie. So when the movie comes out, guys... December somewhere in this year 2018 it does have a connection if you guys have not yet watched it keep watching it all the way to the end and oh my goodness when you see the end before you see Frieza Goku says something very interesting but I'll get to that when I get to the end of this video Frieza he's you well, know, he had a lot of rest so he is putting up a lot of effort and 17 well he has unlimited stamina but he does have like not one arm to deal with Jir uh Frieza was underestimating Jiren, and Jiren was kind of like, he kind of got insulted, so he, you know, stepped on Frieza's tail, which must have hurt, and he was just punching Frieza like crazy, and then 17 comes out of nowhere, and pushes, try to push Jiren off the, off the stage, but then Jiren was like, oh, that won't work on me twice, and then Android 17, well, guess what, that's not gonna work on me either, so Jiren was gonna do this key blast, I guess it was like a really, uh, massive key blast, that Android 17 did a barrier between them two, and when Jiren did the key blast, it's only, you know, it's in that little shield. It, uh, it kind of, like, knocked both of them off. Not, like, off the stage, but, like, you know, Jiren was kind of really, like, almost out cold. And Android 17 was just flying through the stage. So then Jiren's, like, on his on the ground with his knees. Like, like if he's kneeling before someone. And the universe of Eleven, Belmont, and the Supreme Kai were, like, holy crap. This is the end. This is the end of our universe. Belmont trusted Jiren. Jiren has no friends and whatnot. So then Android 17, well, guess what? Frieza, I want you to do the honor to knock him out because I am, I am, you know, I guess he can't. He doesn't have enough. Well, he has unlimited, whatever. I don't even know why he wanted Frieza to do it. So then Frieza walks up to Jiren. He, pull, he puts his one finger on his forehead about to do the death beam. And he's just talking nonsense. You know how Frieza talks when he gets too cocky. And Jiren's just like, he can't even look at Frieza. And Belma was like, Jiren did well. Like, he's not even, he's not even, you know, how you say, uh, well, he is scared, but he accepted his fate. And when, the, when Frieza was about to knock him out, Topo was saying, Jiren, this is not the Jiren that I know. What is wrong with you? Are you going to kneel before the enemy? And Jiren was like, I have no friends. And he's like, get up and fight with your life depends on it. That's what he tells Jiren. And that little motivational speech motivated Jiren to unleash his full, even more power than Wow, like, holy crap, where is Jiren getting all this power from? Like, geez, does he have any limit to his strength? Holy macaroni. And 
he does this massive blast. Very, very massive. That Android 17 tried to do this uh, shield barrier. And Frieza was in it. And he was telling Frieza to like... Frieza, hurry up and use your, like, up your energy, you know, increase your energy. And Frieza's like, don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. He said that twice to Android 17. So it doesn't break the barrier, but it was just too much. They also have, it was shattering pieces by pieces. And then Goku was trying to, like, like, he was, like, he's out, like, he's not out cold, but he just can't move a muscle. But then when he saw that, I guess, I don't know where he gets the energy from, but hey, logic. He gets up, gets inside the shield, tells 17, Alright, I'm sorry that I let you guys do all this by yourself, and I'm not going to let that happen again. And he was trying to help, you know, Andro 17 and Frieza. They were both doing it, and Frieza, you know, comes up with a nonsense question saying, You did not forget to resurrect me, did you? And Goku was like, Well, as long as you keep your promise, I'll keep mine. And he's like, That little arrogant fool of yours is what I wanted to kill you. It makes me want to vomit. So then, they were doing it, Andro 17 was like, I back up, and... They were able to increase their uh, their strength to, you know, overpower Jiren. And Jiren was, well, he's not even tired, but he's just, like, laughing very, you know, menacingly. Like, very evil. And they started fighting. They started fighting. And Seventeen was doing it. This was great teamwork, guys. This Frieza and Goku. Let me get back to that. Frieza and Goku working together? What are the odds of that ever happening? But, hey... This is your survival for your universe. Hello, like, if you gotta do it, you gotta do it. But Frieza and Goku, I mean, we saw Goku and Vegeta, but Frieza and Goku, I can't, like, I don't know, I can't let that sink in. But yes, they do work together, and they were, this was a, the definition of teamwork. Frieza and Goku was just at it again. Frieza tells, you know, Goku to throw him off, and then Frieza was trying to take him out by himself. Um, but Jiren, you know, whatever, and then 17 was also, like, doing backup, doing his key blast, and it was just a crazy teamwork, teamwork that I'd never seen before, especially foes and enemies, or, like, wow, enemies and friends, it's like, ugh, it's, it's, uh, no, it's just weird, but whatever, it was great teamwork, overall, it was perfect teamwork, perfect coordination, perfect attacks, everything was just fine, so then Goku was trying to turn, I guess he was, like, doing Super Saiyan, but not Super Saiyan, it was, like, like, trying to unleash the Super Saiyan, but, like, I don't know. I don't know what he was doing. He wasn't fully Super Saiyan, but he was trying to turn to his Super Saiyan. I don't know. You gotta... I don't know. So, then Frieza and Goku both knocks Jiren out. Bam! Jiren and Frieza and Goku are all eliminated. Yes. Frieza and Goku eliminated Jiren. They sacrificed themselves to eliminate him, leaving 17 the ultimate winner. And Jiren was kind of tired. Tobo was like, whatever. And he's like, how can you do this after all the things I've done to you guys? I've ignored you. I I contempted you guys. And they didn't care. And Belmont was like, good job. And then before they got a raise, Goku was there and saying, hey, Jiren, I want to see you again. I want to fight you again. And he's like, huh. And they got a race. Universe 11, Universe 11 got erased, guys. Yes. Universe 7 was the winner. And the Grand Prix says, so, Android 17, what is your wish? So then they summoned the Super Dragon Balls, and 17 was going to go on a cruise to travel the whole world. That was his dream of doing, and bam, he wished to restore all the universes. Yes, he wanted to restore all of it, and he did. Everyone was back, even to their own home planets, to their own perspective to their own respective universe. So they weren't at the Tournament of Power. It was just them and the Grand Prix and the Angel and uh, the Zens. So then they were there. And seven, uh, 18 came and said, hey, I thought you wanted to go travel the whole world. And 17 was like, hey, not really. I helped a lot of universes. And the Grand Prix says, huh, if he made himself a witch, all of you guys would have been erased. So remember when I told you that. Remember when I said what would happen if Frieza made the wish? He would have been he wanted he would have wanted to become strong into the Zens, the Omni Kings, and he would have been erased. But no, I was partly close. The whole universe would have got erased if Frieza made that kind of wish. So imagine if he won. Oh man, what kind of wish would he have made? Ah, oh, because I know it's not resurrection. Mm -mm -mm. He wanted something powerful from the Omni Kings, and I can guarantee you that. So then. Uh, the Omni Kings came and they were saying, so, 
uh, what's next or what do you want to do? And then, you know, the uh, Beerus was trying to tell Goku to shut up, you know, because Goku's the one that did this whole tournament of power in the first place. So then he was like, yeah, we're talking, you know, the Supreme Kai was like, you know, blabbering and saying like, oh, don't worry, Supreme Kai, I mean, don't worry, Omni King, we're just going to do this, you know, we're just, we, we got to go now, you know, like that. And he's like, promise to visit us again uh, to Goku. And he's like, yeah, sure, cool, cool, cool. So then Whis actually revived uh, Frieza. He actually revived him. I didn't know he can do that. So he revived him because Beerus told him to do it. And that's what he gets. And then they went back to their own universe. Frieza, well, <laughs> I'll get to back. Oh, I wait until... Ooh. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then Goku and Vegeta were fighting. And Vegeta was like saying like, Hey, why don't you turn to Ultra Instinct? And Goku's like... Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know how. Can you believe that? Can you believe that Goku can't even do Ultra Instinct? It only happens when he's in a very difficult situation where he needs to push himself to the very limit. Can you guys obviously believe that? That Goku can't even do Ultra Instinct. And if Vegeta's like, huh, that gives me a better advantage of defeating you and surpassing you. And then they're just fighting to the place where they first fought. I like how they did that. I like that. They went to the mountains where they first fought. Very, very touching and remembering to see that. I love that moment. That was the greatest moment ever. And then, a little towards a little bit towards the end credit, Frieza's there with his army. He's like, sorry to keep you guys waiting, but the Emperor is back. And it looks like he's plotting something very viciously. So that's where the movie comes in. What does the movie have to do with anything? I don't know. I don't know what the movie has to do with anything. I, I thought I was just going to talk about Yamoshi. But no, I think something is going to be far greater than Yamoshi. Something's going to happen in the movie. And then maybe at the movie, there's going to be cliffhanger. Probably seeing maybe a little preview of what could be the next Dragon Ball series. Don't know what it's going to be called. But it's not Super because Super is concluded as of today. A new anime will be taken over somewhere in April. The first week of April, Gegege no Kitaro. Don't know what that is. Don't really care. So, that is the conclusion of Dragon Ball Super. Thank you guys for watching this awesome video that I've just made. Dragon Ball Super may be over, but as a Dragon Ball Z fan and community, we will stay strong and we will support the franchise until this, until the very end. Until Kira Tommy says, I ah, screw Dragon Ball Z, I'm done. But no, I am still reading the mangas, and the English dub is trying to catch up. So, we still got time. Who would have ever thought all the universe would be, able be resurrected? And who would have ever thought 17 was going to win it all? What do you know, right? I mean, obviously, Universe 7 is going to win either way, but the winner was unexpected. So, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your love. And I appreciate... All you guys have been doing, please subscribe, like, and share for more Dragon Ball Z contents, upcoming episodes, spoilers, reviews, news flash, you name it. Also, follow me on, on Instagram, Boy 5000 I will provide it in the link description below. Also, with, along with my Twitter and my Facebook. So, guys, if you guys want more updates, I will always be uploading it on there. So, please... Let's support Dragon Ball Z and I will not be done talking about Dragon Ball Z because it will live on forever until I die. So, good luck guys and have a great day. Peace out.